Hello and welcome to Rhythm Place Games. Tonight I'm going to be playing Death Rally, a top-down racer from 1996, which was created by Remedy. It was in fact their first published game. Remedy Games might perhaps be a name you know more from the creators of Max Payne and Alan Wake, but this is where they got their start. I'm going to be joined tonight by Maid, a friend of mine who thinks I'm his friend just because he works for S2 Games, but the secret is I'm his friend because he sounds like Batman. Hello, Maid. Hey there, how's it going? I'm all good. Now, to start off with, obviously you choose a name, you choose a face, and you choose a car. Of course, one of the possible faces to choose is the good old Duke Nukem, but I'm gonna choose someone else. The way it works is that there's a list of drivers in the game, and if you take their face, you never really have to go up against them. I pick this guy because, one, he looks the coolest, and two, he's also the hardest player to face. Sort of. Duke Nukem is pretty damn hard too, but yeah, I'm gonna choose this guy. In terms of picking a uh, color for the car, obviously red. Red ones go faster. Do you want to use weapons? Silliest question. Yeah, playing this game without weapons kind of doesn't really make any sense. It just becomes a really boring racer. But well, not boring. It's a good game, but uh, weapons is what it's all about. So this game has a, a really, really good sense of style. Like, the text is very, very noir, which, you know, is fitting considering the Max Payne style. Um, as soon as I go in, I get like a shitty little Volkswagen car called a Vagabond, completely unupgraded, and I have a choice of difficulty, but I really have no choice whatsoever. You have to go on easy when you start out. If you try it born here, you're gonna get slaughtered. So here we go, Oasis, up against Farmer Ted. Liz Arden and Sherstone, the greatest names, don't you agree? Farmer Ted is my favorite so far because he has a cool hat. <laughs> yeah, that is true, that's a so cool hat. His, his brother in arms is Bogus Bill. I don't know if that's a reference to Bill and Ted, but you never know. Whoa. So, I have this shit, the little Volkswagen car. And, uh, yeah, uh, there are three other cars at the moment. The one I'm right behind, the little Humvee pickup truck, truck type thing, is called the Dervish. Uh, the more sporty looking thing is called the Sentinel, and then Farmer Ted is also driving a little vagabond. These cars remind me of like Micro Machines and like uh, Spy Hunter. Like, it's really cool. Yeah. It, it's the same kind of style. I remember when I was a kid, I was play I played like a game called Iron Man as well, which was more an isometric type view, but it was the whole, you know, smaller car type thing. So the game style is, is, is pretty obvious. You you drive around, you see the car from up top, and you control, you know, arrow keys. Uh, shift for boost, control for shoot, and alt for mines. And then there's plenty of pickups. Money, boost, and ammo. The Sipa 3D is really cool for like The actual ground is 2D, but uh, the walls are really cool like that. Yeah, you, you can't, it's like faked 3D, you kind of think it is. Second place isn't too bad for the starter. Like you can't really expect too much because your car is completely unupgraded, and you never know who you might face. Like if you face easy, like there's like a list of you know like the top, the bottom seven or something have a chance to go into to the easy um, race. So if you're unlucky, you go up against you know number thirteen. If you're lucky, you go up against like nineteen and twenty. Welcome to the shop. Sillian's more miles to go. The junk of yours is no juggernaut. She won't take you all the way. You need to gear up. Ah oh man, the text is just great in this game. Use the arrow keys to change selection. And press enter to confirm. Press enter. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't used to be there back in the uh, back in the DOS version. Uh, I think there was only like the middle four lines. For some reason, they've added like those. As you can see, use arrow keys is listed at the bottom anyway. Is this a higher resolution than it used to be? Maybe they just didn't have space. Mm, I, I think so. I, I don't remember the DOS version. I don't know how much resolution was it in DOS, but this is like 64480, I think, or something similar. Mm, that sounds about right. This is where... Yeah. Welcome to the underground market. So, your mines, spikes, rocket fuel, and sabotage. If you pick sabotage, like, the highest ranked r uh, rider in the race gets a certain amount of damage, between 25 and 50. Rocket fuel increases your boost at the cost of your durability. Spikes make you hit a lot harder, and obviously mines you drop do damage and so on. Blue Shark's icon. This is funny. Great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the coolest. The icons are really cool, actually. You can't you can't loan anything when you're Vagabond. He considers you, like, a, an unsafe and unproven driver. So I'm up against Iron John. 
Uh, I did, couldn't afford anything really except mines, so that's what I went for. Upgrades, I've gone for tires and armor. Tires are like the most important thing, because you need the handling in this game. I, it's always pretty much my first go-to upgrade. Because speed is all nice and good, and, and armor is nice if you don't want to get shredded, but... Yeah, I need the handling. Like now, I, I sh take the corners much better than I used to in the first one. So I do the boost and get in front and like drop mines and hope they just get hit by enough of them that I get a little start. Like immediately you can see Diesel Joe has already been killed and the other one's taking shitloads of damage already. So the problem with racing games I find is that if you do them really well they're really unexciting to watch. Because you're just so far ahead and there's no one else near you and you just drive. But um, luckily there's not, a, not much of that in Death Rally. Like, I, this is honestly, the good thing about this is there's no rubber banding whatsoever. Like, it's completely realistic, their speed and everything, they don't automatically somehow catch up with you or anything, they just, it's just normal, which is more than you can say for most races these days. I was rooting for Diesel Joe, he had some really cool sunglasses, and he was just taken out immediately. Uh, so I'm not gonna root for you, just in case. <laughs> Can't get out. Liz Iron John is the ugliest dude here, but this race went extremely well for the second time. I, um, I hit the first place, of course, with 0% damage too, which ends up giving me a bonus. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to get money in the game. You, you can uh, win three in a row, you can kill everyone, you can get in by 0% damage, you can do steroid runs, uh, and so on. So I get like a, a nice sweet 350 bucks just because going in at 0%. If you go 0, 1 or 2%, you get the little bonus, and it's pretty sweet. That sponsor guy looks like Robin. That sponsor. Yeah, he has some sweet-ass shades, too. Like, super thin and cool. Those animations are really cool. As I, uh, looking back at this game, I'm just incredibly impressed how, how awesome it was for its time. So, I skipped ahead a bit now. I've got the 600 code for killing everyone in a race. Um, with... The car being upgraded, one engine, one tire, one armor, and the amount of money, I should be able to afford a dervish, uh, which is the second car. The problem is, a lot of the times when you uh, get a... Oh, I can't afford it quite yet. I'll upgrade max tires then. I, can, I can't get a loan, no I can't. But the problem is when you upgrade a car early on, is that obviously you usually go from a fully upgraded car... Oh yeah, here's steroid run. Um, Basically, you pick up steroids and you get to the first of the line and boom, you get a lot of extra money. I couldn't risk it because I don't really have any upgrades, so I had to pick no. But here we go, Farmer Ted, but we'll still have Mick Dare. I don't know if that's a reference to anyone, like, I don't recognize half the references, but I don't know. It's, the levels are really weird how you, like, start out and you're not, like, going forward. All these racing games, I'm so used to being, like, you always just go forward when you race and it's not the same top-down view, like, rotates. I guess that's something we got recently in video games or something, I don't know. I suppose so. You don't really see much top-down stuff, like, I guess if you play, like, a Flash game or something, that would be the kind of stuff you see, but... Oh, yeah. oh no, did I pick up the... I guess I did pick up the steroids after all, yeah. Because my, my car is fully upgraded, and I have boost, I have mines, I have spikes. So I should be able to hit it, and so far it seems, it seems to be going good. Really well. The the little money bags or money symbols or whatever are based on the difficulty of the race. If you drive on easy, it's on like 50 gold. If you drive on medium, it's like 120. If you drive on hard, it's I want to say 300, but I'm not sure. I always imagine like when I was a kid, me and my brother like just trying to imagine how that actually worked. So we, we figured like that the racers had like they run around and like throw out bags of money on the ground and then one guy was sitting at the back of the car like <laughs> leaning out trying to pick him up as he drove past. I'm not sure how actually that works, but there you go. Oh yeah, come to Papa. I didn't know there was that much smoke in the hellfire and you came through. Alright, I should be able to afford Dervish. Dervish? <laughs> he even has voices. Wow, this game is crazy. Yeah, it's insane. When you upgrade tires, do you have to like upgrade it four times, or is like, tires just one for all of them? One for all. It's like a set of tires, I guess. So ah. I don't even really know. 
See, as soon as I hit um, the second car, you should pretty much start uh, getting loans. There's not a lot of loss to it. Like, if, yeah, you do get, have to pay back a little bit more, but in general, money now is much better than money later. Yeah. And if you can't pay him, if you can't afford to pay him back when it's time, like I think you get three races, and then he needs to pay you back. He like takes a chunk out of your car. Eilie like takes away the engine and beats it up a, sh uh, a bit or whatever. But sometimes if you if you plan it out well enough, you basically can have your car be in a bad enough shape that you don't really end up losing that much. So win win. The names of all these races are so good. <laughs> yeah. You haven't seen the best ones, I think. Good God, this race is a bloodbath already. Poor bystanders, man. I've never really understood the people who decide to be bystanders in a race where all the guns have, like, mounted machine guns with spikes in the front. <laughs> That's not a good time. This, holy shit, I've yeah. used four percent damage already. Don't I think I would stand around. Thrill. Unless I was, like, in a building way up high looking down. And even then, you'd only see the race for, like, a second or two in, like, every 15. That'd be strange. Yeah. Oh, you got hit by a mine. Oh man, mines. Yeah. GG. Conceded 15. The thing is about mines is that a lot of time I... Re oh yeah. <laughs> this is the greatest bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> you run into some mushroom. Whoa, man. Sometimes I like I decide to get mines because I, I, I feel like it's needed. And I end up running into most of them myself. <laughs> and because... Like, I always take the same path, like, I take the same lines in each corner and stuff, so if I try to place the mine there, it's logical that I end up running into them myself. I try to... If you want to use them best, you, you want to, like, be right in front of the other dude and then drop it right, like, so he, he doesn't have any time to dodge him. Oh man, got caught on the edge there. This race is not good. I'm at 77% already, 80% now. And that guy's shooting me. Oh, guy, that's... Yeah, that's Mori Sato. The Japanese-looking dude. Amazing names. <laughs> the little wrenches can like, give you between one and five percentage uh, of like damage reduction or whatever you want to call it. There's also a big wrench that you can get, like takes away twenty percent. Ooh, knife edge, but I do manage to get the. Well done. <laughs> Almost landing on Almost the mine. Almost got the. Oh man, we both missed the mine. <laughs> I oh see, uh, Susan Stark was about to hit the mine there, yeah. but he just managed. Rithian moving up in the race. I like how... Oh, yeah, I'm number 17 now. And then I got three uh, three wins in a row, so I got a winning streak bonus, which is all nice. Like that guy with the cigar and everything. They all have their own little little icons. The guy who gives me money if I kill all, like, all the opposing drivers looks like the Reaper. <laughs> That's an amazing sound. <laughs> I think I can afford the Sentinel now. I cut ahead a bit. I ended. Up, I thought this video was going to be like a really short one because I remember this game not being that long, but I ended up recording like almost two hours of footage, and I had to cut this down. And it's still like 29 minutes long. Just warning you ahead of time, viewers. This is a long <laughs> video, <laughs> but there you go. I have a. I have a Sentinel now. Um, normally, that's good enough to go into the medium race. But it's unupgraded, and unupgraded cars is, is really, really bad, because mainly the tires thing. You slide around like a slidey slider slide of Sliderson, if you, if you don't have any tire upgrades. Bogus that Bill's sunglasses are so bad. <laughs> I'm sure he's really proud of them, so don't be mean. Oh god, Bogus Bill, man. This playthrough, he's like, he... Oh, I don't want to spoil anything, but he's, he became my nemesis. He's literally the worst, um, or like the lowest ranked or whatever, and he's horrible. Look at the, the Mick Dare is almost dead. Susie must have like one percentage left, and Bogus Bill what, twenty, and I'm at one percent. I figure this is going to be the most perfect race ever. <laughs> every mine. single mine. <laughs> Are your tires and like shoots out me or and it's like aha! I take that one, zero percent, and it's like yeah, it's fine. I've got two races left. Uh, I just need to kill him, and then I'll be like, fuck it, another mine, and I'm getting really annoyed now. <laughs> but I figure I can just kill him, and I'll get like a full kill, uh, and it'll be all good, and 1%, and yeah, everything's gonna be great. And now he's even lower, he hits another one, 
Yeah, and then he shoots me and I get stuck on the wall and okay, fuck it, I, I just have to win now. And then they start sliding and sliding and... No! Oh, man. Fuck you, Bogus Bill! <laughs> With your glasses and your things. Ugh, there goes my streak. Also, on the bright side, he wants his money back and I can't pay him, so he basically took my engine upgrade. So there you go. Sounds like a long no, trick. <laughs> it's obvious I haven't learned from my mistakes, so just go back and borrow from him right again. So, there you go. Alright, I've got two tires and an armor now. And I'm off for first steroid run. I figure this this is doable. I'm rank 13, I'm in a Sentinel. Morisato's also in a Sentinel. It's, uh, it's worth a shot. Get ready to go. Generally, they start moving up. Like The thing is, they all have the same cars already. They never upgrade. But depending on which uh, face you pick, they can have what one or two different cars. Couldn't even see them behind there. Um, yeah, that's a bit annoying. The overhead lamp thing being in the way. The people are standing on the side. Oh man. Yeah. Death wish. Unwise decision. Maybe this isn't like some sort of dystopian future. So people don't really care. Well, they are death like, Life is so bad. That's true. Like, you don't see many death races in like modern day. It's like. Jason Statham type shit. This could this could totally be a Jason Statham movie. Because they have like a proper villain and everything. I mean, we haven't seen it yet, but the idea is like there's one, the demon prince of the race, um, at the very <laughs> at the very end, called the adversary, which <laughs> is, is also a term for the devil. <laughs> so it's it's all you know. It's as a nice oh yeah, I got him down. It's a nice little bit of storyline uh, wrapped around the little racing game. It's really cool music too. It's like in the background. Yeah, I think he uses like the um, MOD technology, something. I remember trying to rip the music with some program at some point. See, this happens a lot. Like two people are dead, and I just end up waiting to try to kill the last one. So I just decided to ram them, ram them <laughs> off the road. Because you're, I'm out of ammo, and I just ride around them. If I don't have spikes, I take a shitload of damage myself, but. Obviously, she has a lot less life than me, so it's just nice the city. You have to finish the race after you've killed everyone too. That's kind of no. Nice. It, oh, it nice. just figures out that oh yeah, you're the only one. So yeah, killing people is an awesome. I saw yeah. that creepy brother. Pretty cool. Oh, lots of money. So I can get my favorite car, the Shrieker. I don't really know what car this is based on. Like, obviously the Vagabond is based on, like, a Volkswagen, and the Dervish is based on, like, just a pickup truck or something. The Sentinel and the Shrieker are both kind of sporty cars-ish. Um, but this is my favorite car. It's the first car that has, like, two machine guns instead of one. So, like, it shoots from both the left side and the right side where their, like, headlights should be. But, um... I don't know if that's any noticeable difference, but basically it does a lot more damage when it shoots uh, than the other ones, which makes sense. <laughs> so here we have the first four cars listed in order. Bogus Bill, right, Diesel Joe, Chairstone, and me. Diesel Joe has like Johnny Five Aces sort of sunglasses. <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> oh, those machine guns Imagine are four balls at the edge <laughs> of a cliff. Yeah, this looks really cool. One strategy to do is like when you, because you have two things you're trying to get. You're trying to get points and you're trying to get money. If you're trying to get points, or you really just need to win the hardest races over and over. But if you want to upgrade your car, you obviously need money. And if you don't want to just try the harder races because you get money from just winning, you get you try to like get all the bonuses over and over. So you try to like take a really good car, go to the easy races, and like kill everyone and go in at like zero percent or whatever and win them multiple times to get the streak bonus and so on. Nice. So, but these fuckers, they're, <laughs> they're worse than they look, because uh, there's so many mines and shit going on, so I'm already at <laughs> fucking 79% damage against this sheriff's own in her shitty little sentinel, so I'm, get I'm beginning to panic, because without any armor, even in your new car, you can take a lot of damage, so eventually it just becomes a boring old victory, no bonus, and 80% damage. So, the little money, I get like 750 gold from winning an, an easy race. I need to spend like all of it on upgrades. So, and even to repair. Uh, in fact, I can't even repair fully. I'm still at 60% damage. The Wraith, the next car that looks like a, a Bentley or a Rolls Royce or some, I don't know, I'm not a car expert, but it looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, fully upgraded sh Shrieker. Or sh 
Shriek, no, Shrieker, yeah. Clint so West. I give Horrid a shot for the first time. Clint West and Motor Mary and Greg Peck. Obviously, Clint West is supposed to be Clint Eastwood. Greg Peck, I guess, Gregory Peck? I have no idea who Motor Mary is supposed to be. There's like references to a bunch of dudes here. Whoa. Rocket fuel, I can get some insane speed, but it does drain like my damage. So, uh, so you have more and more damage as so I just go. But if you can get that initial start, which helps if you're like a low oh, rank. You're so far This is like pole position type thing. Yeah, it's really handy. Whoa. The problem is like, I think... Um, new, lap yeah. new lap record. Yeah, good good job, kid. <clears throat> There's... Motor Mary has a, has a Wraith. So she's pretty goddamn fast. So I need to keep this up and like not run into walls or anything. You're kicking some ass. It's pole position when you start. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. When you start out, yeah, there's like four aces, and whoever's the lowest rank uh, starts first. So if you if you're in that position, you just boost the shit out of the start and get far away uh, in the beginning, so you can uh, keep it away. Because then there's no one trying to shoot you and no one trying to bump into you, so it's easier for you to actually stay on the track. So this race, which is going really well, is also very uninteresting because there's literally no one to shoot. So I'm just driving around normally, enjoying myself, leisurely pace. Well, I'm still rushing. But Oh, we saw she's, no, she's about to catch up now. That's Clint West, actually. He's in the Wraith, too. Six laps, wow. I fully upgraded the Shrieker. Yeah, I, yeah. on hard it's like six laps. Four for easy, five for medium, six for hard. Um, a fully upgraded Shrieker can deal with like one of the less upgraded Wraiths, I think, in terms of max speed and stuff. So a lot of time I stick with the fully upgraded Shrieker until I can just com completely bypass the Wraith. And get the the last car instead. Games having shroom vision. I remember an FPS play Rise of the Triad had that in some of the levels. You like slide all over the place <laughs> and everything changed color. That's with the IGP cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man! I'm about to lap this guy. That's always a danger because um, currently I'm a zero percent damage. And if I end up in front of him, he's gonna probably shoot me. But I end up making a really good race. Sarah presented first on hard. A lot of money. Did a very good job. Also, 10 points. I think I jumped like 5 spaces from number 11 to 7. And I think I can afford the little racer. No, not quite. I need 10k more. Inconceivable racer. These people say such <laughs> random thing. <laughs> yeah. It was a snowball's chance in hell, and you made it out alive. <clears throat> Those other wannabe victory hounds are just taillights blazing away in the far horizon. Gone, daddy, gone. Not enough juice, not enough potential power in your engine box. True Tom Hare, speaking to you, has been the same fix you are now. Oh yeah, shoot him down. <laughs> so much of that sort of text in there. <clears throat> Man. It's random. Which uh, racer goes into which one? So sometimes it's around and wait to see what actually happens. Like I'm considering should I go to medium and get an easy race and get some money, or can I actually take the risk and go onto hard? So I see number eight is signed up. Oh, that's fine. I can deal with him. Uh, number nine, I can definitely with him. So I go. But then number two ends up at the last. And it's Jane Honda. Jane Honda. <laughs> <laughs> she is in. She is probably alongside Sam Speed. The fastest racer uh, in the entire right, thing. Go. Duke Nukem is slightly slower, but has a much sturdier. Yeah, and he's more in third right now. Car. Oh, this car. Is yeah. Yeah, this is just oh so slidey because it's got no upgrades. Again, going from a fully upgraded Shrieker to this one is bad. It it is much faster, but it's so much harder to control. Meanwhile, Jane Honda is so far ahead already. And it's just gonna get worse. She's got what you got. Probably. But upgrade. it's. Yeah. Exactly. I think in theory, like the top three people, like Sam Speed, Jane Honda, and Duke Nukem, they all have like fully upgraded, and Jane Honda has like a little bit of tires, Sam Speed has a little bit of engine, and Duke Nukem has a little bit of armor than like you will have. So you'll have to like use your skill to beat them or whatever. So random to have Duke Nukem in your racing game. It's very nice. Yeah, that's the best bit. Yeah, well, it's. I think they they made this with the Apogee, which is like the people who um, yeah published Duke Nukem One and Two, which is before it became a first-person shooter. It was just like a platformer thing. 
Uh, so I just dragged him in there. This was b back then. He was just a normal action hero. He he's had like one or two one-liners, but he wasn't like going around giving money to strippers and shooting pigs and shitting down their throat. Or anything. No, that's, that's all jerks. You rip off your phoenix. Yeah. So he w Duke Nukem was a little bit more family friendly back in these days. Thing is, I don't think this get gets caught on the video, which, which kind of sucks, but I ended up um, facing Duke a couple of times. And he's quite hard, because he's, he's really tough to actually shoot down, and he drives fast, and he's a good turner. But the best part is, when he wins, he says, Hail to the king, baby! <laughs> <laughs> so that's really good. That's before uh, John St. John, too, isn't it? Wouldn't it be like one of the Apogee people? I think so, yeah. He has a... L yeah, I imagine so. Like It's, it's, it's a lot not as like deep voice. It's not like John St. John style. It's a lot like... Almost Ash in um, Army of the Darkness style, which is obviously where <laughs> all of Duke's one-liners <laughs> yeah. came from in the first place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is not a bad thing, really. <laughs> good, what is it? Good artist copy, great artist steal, something <laughs> like that. Now, oh man, I've already lost. The sliding is getting worse, but I need to get those initial little money so I can upgrade the tires. Because once I obviously once you start getting upgraded, this car it is an absolute beast. It's the best car in the game, obviously. So. Whoa, man. Great over. But once you get to this point, all you really have to do is just keep racing, keep upgrading, keep getting more points. So finally, fully upgraded Deliverator, rank one. And it's time to face the main guy. And you can't even sabotage his car. You crazy man! No one touches the adversary's car and lives. And then you go to the arena. And you're against the adversary. <laughs> He's got... Oh, his car looks different. Yeah, it, I, it, it's pretty much a deliverator with, like, massive machine guns and something else. The map is really, really straightforward. However, it's, like, deceptively hard. Because, like, you think because of the camera angle that you're in the clear and then turns out it's just a little thicker uh, little thing blocking you than you think so you end up being screwed but I've, I mean I've got a good start so I'm just gonna try to rush out I think it's hilarious that there's money <laughs> on, this, on this map because you know <laughs> once you're done you're done you don't really need any more money but what the hell again it's one of those things if you do this race really well it's not exciting at all because you're just way in the head but he is damn fast though. Like you can see he's four, four or five seconds behind me. But I'm running out of boost, so soon enough he'll be catching me up. You you need rocket fuel boost for this one. You don't really need to spike so much, because you can't really afford to be knocking him around. And mines, more often than not, just fuck you up, because you land them, or you just end up running into them themselves. He's very good at dodging mines. Nice, right, like three seconds behind me now, he's catching up. Still a seven out of nine, so I'm almost, almost at the edge. I haven't placed a single mine because I, I, yeah, failed all that many times. He's less than a second behind you now. Mm. I think I see him soon, right before I hit the end, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there he is. I'd saved up. You regenerate a little bit of boost as you go, and obviously you can run into the little lightning symbols. So, oh, that's not good. But it's close enough, so I end up beating him. Just barely. You can spin around twice. <laughs> Yay! It's actually no, the thing is it's weird, because right before you face him, there's a little cutscene that I ended up missing, I couldn't actually record it. It's like, you have made it to the top and now you're ready to fight Demon King of the Race. But there's no cutscene when you finish him, you just basically go back to the starting menu. Good old 1996 style. Hail to the king, baby. And there you go. Thanks everybody for watching, and uh, I hope you had fun. Uh, mate, we'll do more of these again sometime. Looking forward to it. Pleasure having you.